All right, so thank you once again for tuning in to Auto Transport for Dummies. Uh, in this clip, really, I'm kind of just ticked off at the moment a little bit. Uh, just the behavior of certain individuals, behavior of certain clients, actually. And then also the behavior of some of the other members that are in this industry. So forgive me, I'm probably ranting a little bit in this clip. Uh, I am sporting the Chiefs shirt. I don't know if I already mentioned that. Go Chiefs, Super Bowl, Mahomes, obviously. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to touch on in this clip is that calling multiple companies, okay, uh, if you're not getting what you want right away, is not going to result in a better experience for you, okay? You have to do your homework on the front end, okay? If you decide you want to go with us or you want to go with another company, you have to trust that process. You got to believe in your own homework, believe in the company you've chosen that they're actually doing right by you. Okay, that's step one because you can call 12 different companies and it isn't going to make any difference. In fact, it's probably going to move the car slower uh, because what will end up happening, okay, is that, and, and I'll just, I'll just explain this, this quick little, you know, situation this morning and last night is we had a customer out of the Kansas City area wanted to move a uh, Range Rover down to Miami, Florida. Well, this particular individual gives us not even 24 hours to try to get this set up. And they want it in Florida by Friday, right? So they, it's already Monday. They want it in Florida by Friday, five days. I mean, it's a three or four day trip. So you're pretty much going to have it picked up within 24 to 36 hours. We found uh, we, we had options right away, but they don't want to pay the money for the options. OK, and of course, they call other people and these people say they can get it done cheaper or whatever. And then they end up calling the local dealer. They call all these outfits. OK, you got to understand no matter who you call, you can call the dealer. You can call five more brokers. You can get on you ship. It all ends up in the same location on central dispatch. All right. And so if you just simply don't trust us, you think that we're just playing games here, uh, then why call us to begin with? That's, that's my question, okay? Call the dealer. Don't call us and waste our, our time if you think there's some other option that's going to move it quicker because we're so straight up about this, like nonstop, but yet people think, oh, I got, I got this other option. I'm going to go with this. And, of course, the broker or dealer or whoever – feeds them a bunch of BS saying, oh yeah, we're going to have, we can have it move instantaneously. And I think right after this person can't, like, you know, we canceled, refunded them. I think right after that, they paid the entire amount on their card to a broker with like less than a hundred ratings. Uh, doesn't even have an online presence, but they work with this dealer that they bought the car from most likely. And it just goes to show you, okay, now this person's going to be waiting probably a week. We had options to move it within 48 hours, but that's just not good enough for them. They think because someone's feeding them a pile of crap that they're going to move this thing quicker. And before I'm even like cancel this order out, we've got this broker texting us, like asking us, hey, uh, we need you to remove this order. It's like, it's just incredible behavior. It's just most pathetic behavior you could possibly imagine going on online. Like, it's probably their only order they've had in months, okay? So you literally take a, a high-end, high-functioning company like us off the order. You call everybody you could possibly call, and you think there's going to be this magic trick happening for you. And it's not. Now they've got the whole amount locked in on some their credit card that some other random, you know, awful company is charging them because they're attached up with this dealer they bought the car from. And now they're just going to be waiting around for a week or two because they think there's some magic superpower that this, you know, they think there's some other magical pixie dust type scenario that's going to take place. Uh, but it's not okay. The order's already back on central. It's a non COD order now, which means non cash on delivery because they charge the entirety of the order on the credit card. So again, okay. You've got to just realize like you either want to work with the company or you don't. If you 
don't trust the company to begin with, why are you working with that company? Okay, why? You're wasting their time, you're wasting your time, and if you call enough companies, your order just ends up on the same location five and six times, and then all of the better trucking outfits just ignore it because they think it's a bogus order or a fake order or nobody has the order, like a contract on the order. Uh, so it just gets ignored, okay? And again, most of these outfits that you're gonna call are all about, they don't get very many orders, right? So their whole goal is to just maximize or float on the money or make the most they can on the, the profit margin. So a lot, of, and I'm telling you, a huge amount of brokers are like this. They might get three orders a month or something. They're, they're anemic because there's so many pathetic ones out there, especially ones working with dealers. And they get like one order in the whole, in the whole week and they're like, oh my God. Yeah, and so they'll charge the whole amount. The credit card pays their rent, pays their bills. <laughs> you think I'm joking about this? I'm not joking about this, okay? So if they don't have a very strong presence online, uh they don't have a visible like i mean you just can't go with that okay i don't care if they work with the dealer that doesn't mean jack these dealers are are typically completely clueless as to what's going on with the auto transport you know side of things they just they just aren't aren't in the game they don't get it very few of them get it i have seen dealers high-end exotic dealers trying to ship cars on utility trailers, wedge trailers, garbage trucks. I mean, you can watch this stuff on like supercar shipping nightmares. You got dealers, like this guy explains how like dealers that buy cars from him have these cars, have these truckers show up with like totally bashed in open three car coffin trailers picking up like high end Ferraris. These dealers don't have a nothing clue, honestly. They just typically don't. They don't know how the shipping process works. They got some salesman in there that just thinks it's like ordering a pizza or something. And they could they, they just do not know what's going on with that. And they might have a little contract with a friend of a friend who has a little brokerage pop-up firm. And that's who you're going to be dealing with is little pop-up Joey and then the dealer. I mean, I mean seriously, it, it's a disaster. It's not going to move your car faster. It's not going to get you a better service. It's going to get a worse service, worse experience, and probably the dealer's going to be making money on the order as well. So if that's what you think is going to move your car faster, then just call the dealer to begin with and get the runaround all week. Don't call us and waste all kinds of time. It just doesn't help anybody out, okay? Do your homework to begin with. Believe in the company. Give them time to work on the order. And don't have absolutely ridiculous demands. Like in this case, it was a pretty ridiculous demand, but it still would have been possible, you know, on a Monday and, and maybe even in the wee hours of Tuesday. But don't, you know, you, you just can't, you can't uh, expect everything uh, on some of these orders. And then also have no faith in the, cust uh, the, the company you're working with. Um, anyway, I'm just kind of ranting, like I said. I hope that gives you guys a window as to why, like trying to book orders with multiple companies, calling the dealer, it doesn't work out. It never works out. It's not going to work out. Your order is going to end up on the exact same platform every time. There is no secrets, okay? No secrets. Now, if you give us two or three weeks to work on it, a lot of times we won't even use the load boards. We will contact individual companies off of our private, like, you know, sort of preferred list that have done multiple orders for us uh, because we try, some people want like the highest quality they can get. So in that scenario, we try to find companies we've already done multiple loads with. But anyway, I hope that wraps it up. It's not helping you out calling all the companies you can find in the phone book and on Google and calling all the dealers and everyone else. It ain't helping you. You're gonna get a worse service and you're probably gonna pay more and no one's gonna treat your order with any seriousness because they can see you're calling every company in the book. So do your homework on the front end. And that does it for this video. Happy hauling, catch you on the next one.